Hello everybody, welcome back to Fungi Pro. Today I will be doing a tutorial with Arduino 101 and Blink BLE or Bluetooth Low Energy. So let's get started. To start we're going to open up Arduino on our computer. So I'm going to do that and while it's loading we're going to go over to our smartphone and open up the Blink app. Click on create new project, enter the project name. I'll do Arduino 101 BLE. And you can name this whatever. We're going to change the board type to Arduino 101, which is all the way at the top. And connection type, we're going to change to BLE. And create that project. Now back over to the computer, we're going to open up the example sketch Arduino 101 BLE. Uh, scroll down, you'll see the your auth token here. We're going to get that by going back to the smartphone, going into our device and emailing auth token to herself. I'm going to go to my email account which is on Gmail. Open up that email and copy the auth token. Alright, now you're going to replace this with your auth token, so paste that in. and change the local name and device name. Uh, I'm just going to do Fungi Pro Tutorial for both of these. So I'm going to type them in. And that's it. To upload the sketch to our board, we're going to need to go into Boards Manager and install the Arduino 101 board. So we're going to let this load in. And we're going to scroll down and find the Intel Curie boards and install that. And as you can see, I already have that installed. So. I'm not going to install it again t for time purposes. And since that's installed, we can now go into our tools. And select it. It will be towards the bottom. On well, your computer, probably most likely will be at the bottom. So there we go. We're going to let that load in. And you'll see at the bottom it should change the, right there. And we're going to change the port to the Arduino 101. Alright, that's it. And we're going to click upload. And now it should upload. Back to our smartphone, we're going to need to add the widgets onto the Blink app. So we're going to go to the top. Click add. Add a button. Add a pin. We're going to do D2. Uh, you can do the switch or push. I'm just going to do push for right now. And we're also going to add a BLE widget. And I'm just going to move this at the bottom. And do connect BLE device. There's our device right there. We're going to click OK. It's going to say connecting. Once it's connected, we're good to go. We're going to wire this now. It's a really simple circuit. All you need is two wires, an LED and a breadboard. The shorter lead on the LED is going to go to ground and the longer to pin 2. And now that those are connected, that's all we need to do. And we're now ready to test this all out. Alright, now back to our app. When we push the button, the LED comes on. As you can see here on the breadboard, it's pretty much instantaneously. And even if I were to spam the button and just keep pushing it repeatedly really fast, the button really doesn't have any effect on it. It blinks just as fast as I push the button. So Blink really has got all the bugs out of here. It runs really good. It's really all you need to know for this tutorial. 
Uh, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos. It re I really appreciate it, and it always helps, and thanks for watching.